Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can create a calendar where user can book for multiple dates and multiple times from a single calendar. I have seen forums where people are asking for this solution and currently there is no official solution from Go High Level. But I have found a workaround where you can create one calendar and a user can book for multiple dates and different timings for each date from a single calendar. So I will show you how you can uh, achieve that functionality before going into the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Let's jump into our screen. Alright guys, so creating a multiple date and time booking calendar, what we need to do, we just need to create a calendar first. Uh, I have already created this calendar. I'll show you the functionality of the calendar. It's a normal calendar. You can create a round robin or a single meeting calendar. It doesn't matter. You just need to set up the, the, the basic fields in the calendar and the date and time you can select what, what which is available for you. So just select those date and times for yourself. And once you do that, save the calendar. And then after that, what we need to do, we will go back to, uh, uh, and also like in the forms and payments, you don't need to do anything here. You just need the form on the second step, which is by default. So we don't need to do anything here. We don't need to change anything here in the calendar. We just need a basic calendar. Once you have it, we need to go into our sites area. So let's go jump into the sites and we go into the funnel so that functionality you can only like uh, implement in the funnels area because it has a steps where we can use a different step so let's name this and create it so what happens when we create a funnel we will put a calendar in there and sign the calendar and the next step to a different calendar let me show you how it's done it will be more easy so this will be our let's say uh it will be a three session uh booking so we'll just create this funnel and in the funnel we will implement our calendar which which we just uh created this program what we need to do is in the calendars area we uh, the important uh option we need to switch on is the sticky content so it will help the user it, it will like it will pre-populate the, the fields in the form so they don't need to re-enter uh, their information again every time they book. So what we need to do once we uh, turn on that feature, we will go back into our funnel and let's build our funnel here. So we we'll just use the basic draw and everything and then we'll go for the calendar. We we'll just drag and drop here and we'll select our calendar here. So now we have our calendar here and it will come up and yeah. So we'll, we'll put the heading and we will tell us three session booking. And now we will we'll use another subheading here and we'll say book your second session in the next step. You can do this here on the thank you page also. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, use this and in the calendar booking, we'll use the button action here, go to next step. So what will happen once the user book this one, it will take them to a next step. So what will happen in the next step? Let's just go. So we'll save this one and go back and we just need to duplicate the same funnel we have and we'll, we'll change the uh, title, we'll, change, we'll just change the headings. So let's clone this one, clone step in this funnel. And let's do it uh, one more time because we have three sessions. So we'll just clone it one more time and we have now three different funnel steps. So once it's all done, it will all come together and you'll understand how it works. But this is the basic step you need to like you definitely need to do to have that functionality. I have searched a lot on the internet, but quest on Go High Level platform uh, to have this functionality. But um, I don't know when it will be in high level to use. But until but until then, we can have this workaround for us. All we need to do here is we'll just say uh, thank you for booking your first session 
and you can you can book your second session below okay so now we have this here our second session and we'll go, we'll go go back to our third session and so we don't have to change anything because we have already set up the the first um, the first booking page where we already um, selected that when the booking is done you need to go to the second page uh, and the booking also so this is the this should be the thank you for booking second session book your third session look okay okay so now uh, we have done everything we just need a thank you page after this and in the booking step it's going to next step and we can we can just like take them to to a website because uh, if you have a thank you page you can create a thank you page but i'm not uh, creating the thank you page right now so i'm just going to uh put in but we don't if you want you can create a thank you page after this so it will give them and you can also put the upsell or any product in your thank you page after this booking or you can redirect them to the website so i'm just going to uh drag them to google.com right now or you can redirect them to your website or anywhere else you want so we have the final page here we have everything here once we save it we'll be going to test our fund and you can change your booking page name if you have a domain connected to your uh, funnel you can just go to publish and change the name of the url and also in the settings you can select your domain from the settings and then change the name of your calendar so let's test our calendar now right now don't have any bookings we'll go into calendars and let's see we don't have any bookings here so we're going to book for three different dates we'll go for 10th here 3 p.m selected so i'm going to put the name and everything here and i'm going to put the So I'm going to put the name and everything here. Okay, so we have our first uh, session uh, form filled here and we'll just click the schedule. So what will happen, it will take us to a next funnel page and the same calendar. So now it says, thank you for booking your first session. You can book your second session too. So here before we selected 10 of February, now we're going to select 17 randomly 4 30 pm and then the fields are pretty populated so when we selected the the sticky contacts in in the calendar settings here let me show you here this one here so this is really important because now the user will not uh, have to re-enter all the informations in the form so they just need to just select the date and time and click the schedule so uh, they don't have to repeat their information in the form we just need to select the date and time so now 10 17 and we'll go for 24 and 6 pm select everything is pre-filled we just select the box and schedule so now it, it takes a step of the funnel so let's go and check our bookings so now there's our landing pages for the same um, user for the same user so we'll go for the month and we'll check here so you can see here, I, I had the wrong calendar selected. I had the wrong calendar selected before. So you can see here now we have three different timings and three different dates automatically booked for the same user. And the information is not duplicated. All the information is same. They filled the form once, and we have multiple bookings from the user. You can create as many steps you want. If you have five session bookings, ten session bookings, you can do that. There is no restriction. And let me go to the appointments. And now you can see here we have three different dates and three different timings book for our client. And now the functionality is completed. So this is the workaround right now, but it is really simple and good for the people who use booking calendars for different timings and they have different schedules like uh, like if they're like some running something like Airbnb. So it will really help you because I, a lot of people are stuck with this functionality and Goha level don't currently uh, 
give us this functionality in the platform. So I hope this video helps you and solve your problem. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit a like button and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.